Over the last few years, the mid-sized pickup truck market has grown, mainly because the competition has become so stiff. Well, now Honda is throwing its hat in the ring with this, the new 2017 Ridgeline, which finally looks like a real truck. So this truck features a new 3.5 liter V6 that makes 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque sent through a six-speed automatic transmission. And when you put your foot deep into it, it jumps up to speed, feeling faster than most of the competition. So compared to its biggest competitors, the Chevy Colorado and the Toyota Tacoma, the biggest difference is that the Ridgeline is a unibody vehicle, which means that the entire body is just more rigid. Now that construction combined with this suspension setup means that the Ridgeline actually drives, you know, almost like a Honda Accord. It likes to tuck into corners and it doesn't really push wide. There isn't a lot of body roll and the steering feedback in this truck really is good. So it gives you a great sense of where you are. Of all the midsize pickups, the Ridgeline certainly offers the sportiest driving dynamics. Now, besides being rather fun to drive, the Ridgeline is also quite comfortable. The suspension eats up any imperfections on the road, and I wouldn't put it past the Chevy Colorado, but I would say that it is on par with the Colorado when it comes to comfort and interior noise. Another new system which also helps handling on this truck is Honda's torque vectoring, which can actually send different amounts of power to each individual wheel depending on the situation. So let's say you're turning really hard through a right-hand corner, it will send more power to your outside wheels to help the truck rotate. And on a day-to-day -day basis, it just makes the Ridgeline feel more solid and more predictable in its handling. Now that torque vectoring is also part of four new drive modes that have been built into this Ridgeline. Normal, snow, mud, and sand. And as you would expect, the truck will change its settings to best suit whichever situation you're in. Plenty of new safety technology has also been packed into this truck with systems like lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control. So Honda lays claim to best in class gasoline fuel economy with this four wheel drive model rated at 21 miles per gallon combined. Now over 150 miles of mixed driving today, we averaged 22 miles per gallon combined and that was without even trying. So Honda did nail the fuel economy promise on this truck. The Ridgeline only has one body style, which is this crew cab with the five foot bed, which means that it starts a little bit more expensive than its rivals at just under $30,000. On the other end of the spectrum, once you load this truck up, it costs just under 43 grand, which is totally competitive with everything else out there on the market. So on the outside, the new Ridgeline has a style that's supposed to look more like her traditional truck. But here on the inside, this is all Honda. Now, like with other Honda models, the Ridgeline now includes an eight inch touchscreen with the Honda Link infotainment system, along with these HVAC controls down here below the screen, which are nicely laid out and easy to get to. Now you also have quite a few steering wheel controls, which can take a little bit of time to get used to, but once you master the system, it does work quite well. There's also a new center console design here in the Ridgeline, which is quite deep. You can store a lot of stuff, but it's really low down from the driver. So you really got to reach to get stuff out of the bottom. Luckily, Honda realized that because the console is so low, it can't act as an armrest. So they did install adjustable armrests on these seats. One other thing I have to mention in the Ridgeline is the rear seats. Now, unlike most trucks where the backs fold down, in Honda's case, the actual seat bottoms fold up which gives you not only a nice big floor space, but also a lot of vertical space to store whatever it is you're putting back there. But it would be nice if those rear doors open just a little bit further. So the Ridgeline continues to have some really unique features back here in the bed. First of all, the tailgate opens regularly, but if you reach under here and find this handle, it also swings open. 
Now you might be saying, why is this? Well, the main reason is to access the Ridgeline's trunk, which really is a cool feature. It's quite deep and it's great, especially for storing things you don't want to get wet. Now also, if you have cargo in your bed, being able to get right up to the bumper means you can reach in further. However, there is one problem. This bed is kind of shallow and because it has this trunk, it makes your lift in height a little bit taller. So well, there are two new features in this Ridgeline which are going to be great for tailgaters. The first one is a 400 watt plug that will allow you to run all of your electronics. And the next one is an in-bed audio system that allows you to crank your tunes right out of the bed. That's not pickup truck music. That's better. The Ridgeline is rated to tow 5,000 pounds and it does have a full two inch hitch receiver, but it only has a seven pin light connection, which is located really deep down here under the bumper. Now for a truck like this, that is gonna tow mostly small trailers, it seems like an oversight not to have a four pin light connection. So besides the on-road loops, Honda also gave us a chance to take this Ridgeline off-road and this little truck performed pretty well. I think the first thing you notice is that independent suspension. Compared to the trucks with, you know, leaf springs and a rear solid axle, the independent just kind of soaks up the bumps a little better. You don't really get the chatter that you get out of a traditional pickup truck. Heading off-road, especially at high speeds, you really notice that torque vectoring system, which just helps you pull through corners. Now in a traditional pickup, if you gas it mid-corner, the back end is gonna step out on you, which I will admit is fun, but in this Ridgeline, when you gas it mid-corner, it just rotates and it stays really stable. Now there were two things though that did bother me a bit off-road. And the first was, it seems as though the suspension is rather noisy. For some reason, from underneath the truck, you get quite a bit of road noise while you're going over those obstacles. And not only that, but again, without that rear axle, you don't have quite the articulation you would out of a traditional pickup truck. But I think for most Ridgeline buyers, this truck is gonna be more than you ever need when you're heading off-road. Kudos to Honda once again, because they also brought along 4,000 pound trailers to let us tow with this truck. And once again, the Ridgeline is mostly impressive. Like with off-road, it's this independent suspension that you really feel working and it keeps this truck nice and smooth. And even at 4,000 pounds, which is getting close to this truck's limit, it doesn't feel as though the trailer is controlling me at all while I'm up here driving. So yeah, push to its limits, stability isn't an issue, but this V6 does work pretty hard, especially when you're coming up some of those bigger hills. But of course, that is expected. Now there is two things that Honda maybe missed the boat on, which are a tow haul mode and an integrated trailer brake controller. But I don't think a lot of Bridgeline customers are really the kind of people who are gonna be towing big loads, so I think we can give them a pass on that. So sure, the Ridgeline doesn't offer the overall capability of some of its body on frame competitors. But if you're looking for a truck that is comfortable, quiet, and fuel efficient from Monday to Friday, but then can get you, your family, and your toys out on the weekend, the new 2017 Ridgeline could be the truck for you.